COVID travel restrictions keep Canada closed to most Americans, it's the same for much of Europe. But as CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us, Americans living outside the U.S. are voting. Turns out Americans don't even have to be earthbound to vote. U.S. astronaut Kate Rubens, who blasted off last week, cast her absentee ballot from a makeshift voting booth aboard the International Space Station. I think it's really important for everybody to vote, and if we can do it from space, uh, then I believe folks can do it from the ground, too. That's what Alex Colton is doing from her home in London. Are you voting in a state where you think it could make a difference? I would certainly hope so. I, I'm from Georgia. I've always voted in Georgia, and um, it is super important. I feel like every vote counts. The system of absentee voting for U.S. expats has been running smoothly for decades. But this year, demand is through the roof, says Susan Dyedushishka Swinat, who runs the U.S. Vote Foundation. As so many different crises hit the U.S., overseas citizens became more and more aware of what was going on and wanted to participate. Have you got any idea how many more overseas ballots will be returned this year than in previous years? It will probably be about double. Will you shut who is up, on, man? Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This but in this show, right? most bitterly contested election in decades, American expats are feeling some stress. Now, the question is, do I trim the page or don't I trim the page? Janet Fisher from New York read and reread the instructions for the ballot she printed at home. If it wasn't 100% perfect, I thought they would discount my vote. And I feel very passionate about voting in this particular ele election. I didn't receive my ballot, and I've spoken to two other Americans as well that have been living here, and they didn't receive theirs either. She did register online, though, and was able to print one, but it has shaken her faith. I'm not really sure, so I do feel more skeptical than I have in the past. In the lobby of the U.S. Embassy in London, there's a special mailbox. Some Americans, rattled by changes to the U.S. Postal Service and allegations of fraud, choose to post their ballots here. One was Patricia Wynn. How confident are you that your vote will be counted in the long run? I think it's really worrying that we actually start to question these institutions and that we are worried about things like whether our vote will count. These votes could be decisive in battleground states, and that's spurring expat voters on. After all, you have to be in it to win it. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London. Very true.